Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala ali Sayyidina Muhammad. Salam guys. Welcome back to Dandelia Healing Space, a space where we seek healing for our mind, body and soul. Today's story is about one of the sahaba who was martyred in the battle of Uhud. By remembering stories of sahaba, it could realign our vision and actual mission once again in this world. Inshallah, it can heal some burden in our mental state to learn how sincere and pure-hearted the sahaba were in their journey of life so we could reflect against our own iman. How much are we willing to sacrifice in the path of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Let's begin. Sayyidina Anas bin Nadir radiallahu anhu was one of the sahaba who could not take part in the battle of Badr. He regretted so much to have missed the honor of participating in the first and the most illustrious battle of Islam. He really wanted a chance to make it up for Badr. Sayyidina Anas bin Nadir did not have to wait for long as the battle of Uhud came about in the following year. He joined the army full of determination. Despite heavy odds, the most Muslims were gaining the upper hand. However, some of the Muslim army made a blunder, resulting the Muslims to suffer a reverse. What had happened? The Prophet ﷺ had positioned a band of 50 archers to guard a pass in the rear against the rival enemy. They received definite command from the Prophet ﷺ not to move from their position till further orders from him. But when they saw the Muslims gaining victory and the enemy in full flight, they left their position in the belief that the battle was over and it was time to join in the pursuit to get on to the booty. Booty means the valuables which have been seized during a war. The leader of the band of army tried his very best to remind them of the Prophet ﷺ's command and solicited them to stay on. But not more than 10 people amongst the Muslim army would listen to him. They argued that the orders given by the Prophet ﷺ were only for the duration of the actual fight. The enemy then noticed the unguarded pass in the rear. They began to force a passage through it and finally they fell right on the rear of the Muslims who were so preoccupied with the booty. It was in this state that Sayyidina Anas radiallahu anhu saw Sayyidina Sa'ad bin Ma'az radiallahu anhu passing in front of him. He shouted to Sayyidina Sa'ad, Oh Sa'ad, where are you going? In the name of Allah, I smell the fragrance of paradise coming from Mount Uhud. Saying this, he threw himself into the very thick of the enemy and fought throughout till his last breath and died as a martyr. After the battle, it was found that his body had been severely wounded and injured to such an extent that only his sister could identify his body barely from the fingertips. You can imagine how bad was the injury suffered on his body. More than 80 wounds of arrow and swords were counted on Saidina Anas radiallahu anhu. Can the fragrance of paradise be smelt in this world? Well, Sayyidina Anas radiallahu anhu had sincerely strived in the path of Allah. He devoted his life and have tasted the pleasures of paradise even in this dunya. So, what we can hope for is for us who devote ourselves sincerely in the path of Allah, not only we are earning a path to paradise, but there has been a time where the sweetness of paradise can be felt even in this world. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa kina adhabana. May Allah give us good in this world and in the hereafter and protect us from the torment of the hellfire. Lesson 2 is to obey Allah and His Messenger all the time. Battle of Uhud also taught a great lesson to the Muslims of Uhud that obeying Allah and His Prophet is a paramount factor 
factor for success. This also enabled them to be stronger in the future. This was visible in the spread of Islam and the Muslim state growth in the coming years, they started to understand the meanings of discipline and respect of the commander's orders. Lesson 3, we must learn that greed is the key to downfall. Alongside this obedience, greed was the biggest reason for the Muslims' downfall in the Battle of Uhud. The Muslims began to get complacent and they started looking too far ahead. Besides a handful, most of the archers left their position and went after the material things. They saw that the fleeing Quraysh were leaving behind valuables, belongings and other items of value. They lost the bigger perspective of the battle when greed and ambition took over. The Muslims suffered as a result and learned the hard way. Last but not least, lesson 4, Allah will test the believers. If there is one lesson we can gain from the battle of Uhud, here it is. If Allah can test the best of believers and the ones who were most beloved to Him, such as the companions, we will inevitably face tests too. Always remember that life is not going to be smooth sailing and there will be bumps along the ride. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts everyone to test as He has promised in the Quran that He will put tests in the lives of Muslims. He will put danger, hunger, loss of goods, life, etc. in our lives. So our response to these adverse circumstances will dictate our success. Allah says that He sends glad tidings upon those Muslims who are patient in the face of adversities. Patience is the most gracious traits of Islam. Let's make dua that this sharing strengthens our faith and deviates our focus in this dunya towards earning Allah's pleasures. Thank you for being with me till here. Please subscribe to this channel if you enjoy this kind of content. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.